Hello and welcome back to my video. So I thought today I would copy, yes copy, a set done by um, Natalie Mugridge, Mugridge, sorry. Um, she's an amazing art, nail artist. Um, I'll put a link of her video in here. Um, so you can see what it was actually meant to look like. This was completely different to her design, well sort of. So I've got five tips kept the shape because I didn't want to change the shape and I just painted them all black. Um, I gave them two coats of uh, black glass from Glitter Bells and I found I've got bits and pieces in my bloody glass. And I'm like, oh, mate, really? So I'm sitting there and I'm like trying to get bits of fluff out. It's driving me nuts. I don't know where it is. I don't know if it's in my bottle or what. It's driving me nuts. Anyway, so I just coat these and give it two coats of black and then what I do is I just wipe off the sticky residue that you get after baking them. They go under LED light for 30 seconds. I thought I would use my purple 9D cat's eye gel and my green 9D cat's eye gel that I got yesterday's video from Azure. Um, they're really nice. I've got videos somewhere on my channel of how I use I've done a swatching video. And because I've done a reveal video on my Model 1's um, Lucky Dick bags, which was quite popular, because I know loads of people wanted to know what was in them but didn't really want to buy them. And mate, I, I do not mind getting these things and just trying it out. Because why not? Someone's got to go. So I got a gel brush. As you can see, I opened the green and the purple. I got a gel brush. These are the two colours that I have already. These aren't the ones I got yesterday. These are my own ones. I just didn't want to open them up because I'm going to try and save them for a giveaway maybe in the future. So what I did was I got my Glitter Bells brush and I just opened up the pots and I just got a bit of the purple and the green and I just painted it on the top and sort of swished them a bit together. Now I'm out of shot because I always am out of shot. Why wouldn't I be out of shot? And then I think I realise I might be out of shot and try to get back into shot, but I don't think it's happening at the moment. Um, so what I did was I just used the green and went over all the tops of the five nails. I mean, I've done this set completely wrong, because after I've done it, I was like, yeah, me, she shouldn't have done it that way. But anyway, the, the, the end result was all right, but the way I went around it was completely wrong. Um, anyway, so first I just covered them in a bit of green, and the greens are really nice, greeny, goldy, iridescent. It's really, it's just lovely. It really shimmers nicely. And as I put them down, I'm like, oh, that's a nice colour. So as you can see, that's the green. Didn't show you long enough, because why would I want to do that? So now I get the purple and I just sort of put it in places on top of the green. I haven't baked it yet, because you don't bake them yet. You've got to put the colours on and then do your pattern and then you bake it. So here we go, bit of purple, shplurple, love a bit of purple. Just plonked it on anywhere really, because um, I thought, why not? Two colours, I'll try and see how they marble together, and see how they look. Or maybe not marble together, I just blob them on really. And they dry for 30 seconds under LED light, two minutes under UV light. Um, yeah, I thought I'd give it a go and, and see if I can come up with something. Um, so I just sort of, first I went across with the green and then when I went across with the purple, I really did. You, you may not believe me because you can't see, but I really, really did. Um, and then what I did was I got my really, f uh, see? Should have showed you, you know why? Because I sped up the video because it was way too long. That bit slowed. All right, okay, it's better sped up now. All right, so as you can see, they're still wet. And what I've done is I've got the magnetic brush magnetic brush the magnet and I'm just pushing all the colors flat so they go sort of black do you know what I mean so you can't really see the color and then you get your fine detail brush I've got my Natalie Mugridge detail brush really fine super fine super fine and I just sort of swirled it through to bring some of that color out because when you paint a magnetic color and you're not happy with it just go back over with your brush to reset that color you know, if you're not happy with the way it looks with the magnet, just go back over it. It's not like you've got to clean it with um, acetone or rubbing alcohol. Just get your brush and just sweep over it and it'll just start again to like a blank canvas, basically, with the colour that you're, mar with the colour that you're uh, gonna do your, your cat's eye patterns with, your magnet patterns with. 
So what I did was I just sort of swirled it about, swished here, swished there. And it marbled quite nicely together actually, I was quite happy with it. Um, I might try something else with it. I just didn't know what pattern I was doing, I was just like, yeah, that'll do blah, 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 blah. So this is then baked. Now I've done this wrong, because what I should have done was I should have top coated it first, and I forgot until I actually got to the very end and I realised I should have top coated it first. So before you do any artwork on it, when it gets to the stage, top coat it. Then what I did was I got a white painting gel from Yayogi, because the model ones was too thick, it's like a cream with a yo-yo, these are painting gel. Um, and what I did was I just tried to paint like pine trees, really. Um, I'm not that great at it. I'm not a very, you know, I'm not an artist or anything. No, 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 no. I just sort of like made a mess, really. And what I did was I just drew a line down the middle and then I just came off it with flicks. And then I realized that the top should have been quite narrow and the top should have been wider, but it didn't turn out, I mean, when you see Natalie's video, you'll understand exactly what it should have looked like to compare to what it actually looked like. So then I got my gel brush again, and what I needed to do was put a bit of white underneath the tree. So I just painted it white. Um, the thing is, my TV's not working, so I couldn't really watch the video. I should have watched it on my phone, but I can't watch it on my phone and record. I could have watched it before, maybe. Give me just a bit of a refreshing top up, I don't know. Anyway, so what I did was, I just done the white with the paint, and then I thought what I'd do is, I'll get some, uh, no, I thought I showed you, but I must have cut it out, I don't know. I've got some white, I can't remember what white it was, it was some glitter bells, it's not an actual white, it was more for like a see-through white, for like milk nails and stuff like that. So I flicked that on it, bunged it under the light, like let it soak in for a minute or two and then bunged it under the light, give it 30 seconds. And when I saw it, I was like, oh, this shit looks so pants. Because when I brought it out, there was like powder on it and it's like, I've got to make this look better. I can't, I've got to bring this back from somewhere. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going to bring it back from. I've got to do something with it. So what I did with all the five nails was I've done a little white bit on the bottom. <coughs> And then when I was happy with that, I just sugared it. But really, you're meant to do this so you can feel it, and I didn't, because of the, I top coated it after. So you clearly couldn't feel it, so it was pointless. Pointless, done it completely wrong. So this is how you don't do that, yeah? One of those don't do this videos. So what I did was I went over it with some of the white, tapped off the, left it soaking for a minute, tapped off the excess, and some of it was patchy, so what I did is I painted it again. I can't remember if I went back over it again with the powder. So now what I'm trying to do is, I'm just drawing like a couple of trees, really. Like some pine trees, long trees, and I'm just trying to, you've got a flick, like you make the top short and then you make the bottom wider, but I just, they just weren't happening for me. Maybe I need to get a different pot, like a different gel, I don't know. Because I noticed on my first tree, the gel started to sort of merge together in a clump. And that really annoyed me because I'm like, that's not what I was meant to do. Um, but anyway, so it's on. I'm painting it, flicking it. I'm trying to do a million things at once. I've got my mica powders today. Oh, it's only £4.28. I bought 15 mica powders from AliExpress to do some UV resin art. I might do a video on one of those on what I make. I don't know yet because I'm, I'm just not sure. I can't get it. So this one, I just painted the tree and put it in. So I started doing a house and I thought I was taping it and I weren't. So yeah, my house ain't great, but I couldn't do animals. So I'm really, I'm not going to try and do an animal. That's just like, no. Oh, and that little black dot on my little finger is nail varnish. I couldn't get it off, gel polish. Um, yeah, so I thought, oh, I'll just do a house with a tree next to it. Because, you know, why not? You know, I have a house in a forest. As opposed to, um, not. I just thought that's what I would do. So I thought I'd do a house, and I don't know why I made a tree wonky, but I made the tree a bit wonky. Because it didn't go down in the straight line. I went down like squiggly, and I shouldn't have gone down squiggly. 
just like, oh my lordy, lordy, make sure you're making a, such a pit, like, just I'm making a mess out of this. But you know what, you've got to see the crap. So, to know that if I ever get better, you can go, yeah, Mish, that was absolute pants. So this is all of them done. Um, see, I should have top coated it first, and I didn't. So I've done it completely wrong. So after you do the magnetic gel polish, then cut you top coat it, because then you can paint on your art over your top coat. I've just done it wrong. Um, yeah, so what I, what I did was I got a bit of um, glitter from nail sugar, and I put it in like little stars after I top coated it. Can I show you what it's called? Yeah, breakfast at Tiffany's. Tiny little piece on the tip of my brush, and I just dabbed it in, as you can see, in just a few places, just to give it a little bit of a sparkle. Um, you know what, I'm not too, yeah, no, they're all right. They're not too bad. I quite like the mixture of the purple and the green. I think it looks really nice. I'm not very good at my camera angles, so to try and pick it up very well, it's not that great. But I'm really happy with this set, actually. So I, do, I do get happy in my videos. I'd never put it up if I weren't thinking. If I didn't think I liked it, I wouldn't put it up. Whether you like it or not, or whether you think it's great or not, that's up to you. But if I'm happy, it goes up, and if I'm not, it doesn't. And I've got quite a few videos that don't go up. Because they are absolutely rotten. Not good at all. So I thought I'd do a little close-up video and I don't know what I'm doing here. I've got a couple of pictures, but anyway. Um, if you think it was alright, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, hit like and hit the bell and um, see it's not too bad and I'll see you in another video. I'll speak to you later. Ta-da. Bye. Party.